Juvenile gun violence with more than 20 youth homicides and dozens more injured in shootings this year. How many of them youth, how many of them 20 youth homicides do you think are, are black people? How many of them 20 youth homicides do you think are black people? Mm. Mm. Well, the city is setting records for juvenile gun violence with more than 20 youth homicides and dozens more injured in shootings this year. As Fox 59's Russ McQuaid shows us, it was also a record-setting day for vigils across the city dedicated to ending youth gun violence. I spent the day walking the streets of the city's... A record-setting day for vigils. They set a record for vigils. They set a fucking record for vigils. They set a fucking record for vigils. They set a record for vigils in one day. Yo. Man, this is a unique community. This is a unique community, man. Yeah, I'll give y'all that, man. There ain't nobody like y'all, man. Well, the city is setting records for juvenile gun violence with more than 20 youth homicides and dozens more injured in shootings this year. As Fox 59's Russ McQuaid shows us, it was also a record-setting day for vigils across the city dedicated to ending youth gun violence. I spent the day walking the streets of the city's northeast side talking to parents who tell me that they feel like they and their children are being held hostage to gun violence. 
Never before have I covered four anti-gun violence rallies all happening at the same time in Indianapolis. And half of them, Mayor Joe Hogsett, came in for an earful. So I'm angry. So I'm upset. You got the death penalty for murders? You! This is one city. This is one city. This is one city. Yo, man. Yo, man. This is one city. You're having four vigils in one city on a, on, on a given day. And there's no fucking war going on. There's no war. There's no war going on. Yo, man. <laughs> Yo. No one else lives like this, okay? No one else even remotely comes close to living like this. Y'all talk about black and brown. Y'all talk about hombridos, Hispanics. This, nah, Hispanics don't live like this, man. Hispanics don't live like this. Hispanics don't live like this. Maybe in Juarez, on Venezuela, Hispanics don't live like this in, in, in the United States, man. They don't. They don't. Even in Albuquerque, Santa Fe, they don't live like this. This is madness, man. This is pure and utter madness, man. We're talking about pure, unadulterated madness.
I spent the day walking the streets of the city's northeast side talking to parents who tell me that they feel like they and their children are being held hostage to gun violence. Never before have I covered four anti-gun violence rallies all happening at the same time in Indianapolis. And half of them, Mayor Joe Hogsett, came in for an earful. So I'm angry. So upset. You got the death penalty for murders? Use it. That lady was calling for the death penalty for the 15-year-old child arrested for fatally shooting. You got the death penalty for murders? Use it. You got the death penalty for murders, use it. How long? How long? Before they start saying that um, the death penalty is being used disproportionately against black people. Just give me a, a, a date. How long? How long before, man, y'all using the death penalty disproportionately towards black people, man? And you're a fucking racist, an evil hearted mean racist who's doing this intentionally and for no other reason that you hate black people how long What's up, my guy? What's going on, my guy? Ain't nothing, man. Just bringing the news, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they this what they say is going on, man. No, I feel you. I feel you. That hard hitting journalist journalist. Uh, Nation news, this, but this news is too real, though. You feel me? Nobody want to hear this shit right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Four vigils in one day. That shit's sad, man. Begging the white man to bring back the death penalty <laughs> <laughs> or slavery. Yeah, man. Unbelievable, man. So upset. You got the death penalty for murders? Use it. That lady was calling for the death penalty for the 15-year-old child arrested for fatally shooting another 15-year-old child Friday afternoon at the Kip Indy Legacy High School, which police are trying to determine if that shooting was in retaliation for the killing of another young person nearby last summer. Two blocks away, parishioners from a neighborhood church gathered to pray for Indy's children. Some kids are experiencing abandonment issues from adults. Some kids are growing up in abject poverty and tragedy, hurt and despair. Uh, it's a struggle out here. Just adding up the last week's teenage... So, there should be 10,000 murders this year in Appalachia. There should be another 10,000 murders in Pennsylvania. Wow. With all the white people. That's wild. If you want to see some ab abject poverty, come to Pennsylvania, man. Come to where I live at. These white folk, these white folk houses worth thirty thousand dollars, man. 
these black folk and these these on burritos coming up here buying these houses, these white folk for thirty thousand dollars. Living American dream. It's not bad though. Thirty thirty thousand. Shit. A lot of how, how, how the neighborhoods though? They good. It ain't nothing but a bunch of white people. Neighborhoods are great. <laughs> I'm about to say that sounds great to me, man. <laughs> sounds safe to, to me. Your, you wouldn't have to lock your door if if the black people and Hispanic people didn't just move here. You wouldn't have to lock your door. <laughs> Still sound a little safe though. <laughs> Only reason you gotta lock the door is because the black person bought the house. <laughs> that's the only reason. That's the only reason you gotta let now lock your door. Yeah, we poor. Hurt, I'm man. talking about poor people, man. Poor people. I'm talking about walk around in camouflage gear and shit, and wear jams in the in the winter time. They do a lot of hunting down there. Yeah, it is hunting. In the in the outskirts of the city, yeah, this this happens if you uh, like in in the country parts, but yeah, but these these people don't have no fucking money, man, because that's what they when they, when black people say abject poverty, you go there and every kid's got on three hundred dollar tennis shoes and Gucci belts, and no one's ever missed a meal. You can't find anybody who's missed a meal. When these po- these poor white people, their faces be beat red. Their their faces look like somebody drew them. Their clothes, their fucking clothes don't fit right. You know what I'm saying? They just look poor. You know how black folk when they when we poor we be dressed to the nines. We be having fucking hell yeah. We still good. Chargers <laughs> and shit and all that shit. These people are poor. You know what I've noticed, like for the last few years, like a lot of the sun, sun kids, like the team, the sun teens, they're all wearing designer. I know, like a lot of them do, like scams. They're doing the scam shit with the yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and the smash and grabs. So but, the price, so designer clear clothes are easy to find because they all. Who you think they selling the smash and grab um shit to? Okay, okay, fair to say. Fair each to say. other, each other. You know what I'm saying? They're going back around the hood and selling them goddamn. Five hundred dollar jeans they stole. They selling that shit for fucking thirty dollars. <laughs> shit, forty dollars to their people in the hood. Nah, but I, I was talking to my little cousin because he's like a little young son team. He's like about sixteen, and I was asking him about that, and he, it seemed like he was basically telling me that they do it for the, the regular price, like a little a little cheaper off. Like if they got some, the jeans cost two fifty. They'll sell the jeans for like buck fifty, two hundred. They don't right. take too much off. To you, to you, but to their mans and their little crew and shit, those things selling that shit for nothing. Um, yeah, who's gonna be the first person to take the five dollar challenge tonight, man? We are hour and a half into the show, and we got one, two, one, one donation for. A dollar and fifty cent, man. Who gonna be the first person to take the five dollar challenge tonight? Man? Hold on, hold on. I'll take it. Let me see if I, I won't get kicked out of this. Hold on. Now you you contribute into the show by coming up here, man. We want somebody. We want um to see who in the um who in the um who, who if we can get the five dollar challenge started tonight for the for the um viewers. We on two platforms. We got, we we got we, we rocking on two different platforms, and we've got one donation for a dollar and fifty cent. And you can't get this nowhere. Let me see how many likes we got. I sent you five on cash app. Salute, salute to you, man. Let me see how many likes we got. Let me see how many likes we got right quick. Um, hopefully we got 
137 likes. Yikes. Damn. That's crazy, man. 137 likes. And we've had about 230 in the building for going on an hour and a half. We got 100. Uh, we've had we've had how many people come through so far tonight? We've had 796 people come through tonight at one point or another, and we got 137 likes. Mm, that's crazy. That is crazy. Salute to God Ninja, man. Guy Ninja. Of course, salute to Christy Webster, man. Christy Webster is the, is the GOAT. And I'm not talking to the GOATs. I'm not talking to the Hall of Famers. I'm talking to people that's new, man. Join the um, join the channel, man. Support. We can't rely on the Hall of Famers and the GOATs to, to support the channel every night. Sometimes we need the um the others, man. Sometimes we need the others to come through, man. Tom Space says, unblock me from the other channel. The other channel? You must you're you're blocked on Oc Nation TV. I mean Oc, Oc Nation TV, yeah. I will unblock you, man. You just got to send me an email. Live 2 at gmail.com. Send me an email because I'm not going about to do it now. I ain't going to switch to the other channel just to unblock you right now because you're not blocked here. And this is the channel that we're doing this on. Christopher Swoop says, stop white hate. Yeah, I agree, man. But um, I would... I would predict that before the night is over, we're going to see an egregious amount of white hate. Hot black in the building. We in this mug. DVK says, YouTube giving me a hard time. Happy save that hour for next year day. I don't know what the hell that means, DVK. Save, happy, oh, happy save that hour. Okay, happy daylight saving time. Yeah, that kind of, that's what kind of fucked me up, man. Listen, man, I live on the margins, man. My life is so, because I only can do this at night, because during the day, I'm with my daughter, and I take naps during, I only, I only sleep for three hours at night, so after the show, I sleep for three hours, wake up at like seven. My daughter, she be up, by the bar. And then I got to take a nap during the middle of the day when she takes her nap or I be really fucked up. And then <laughs> we eat dinner, you bed, bath time, ready for bed. And then I do the show. You know what I'm saying? So I don't never sleep seven, eight hours at a time. I sleep three hours at night. And then three hours during the day. Yeah, I me, mean, I need something more five dollars, man. Fuck that. Yeah, salute, salute, salute to you, man. Alejandro Miz says Mexicans with no English skills outperform sons in this country. That's why no one questions the pyramids in Mexico, but they do the ones in Egypt. LOL. We coming for your Alejandro Miz is greatly misinformed. We coming for your pyramids in Mexico, man. Well, the only people questioning the pyramids in Egypt are some people. Everybody else is pretty much, you know, familiar with who built them. Yeah, but we're coming for their Aztec pyramids too. We already took the old we already claimed that we're the Olmec statues. So if we're the Olmec statues, if those Olmec faces they found are us. What's the next logical conclusion? <laughs> Some man? people were like, shit, you see them lips? We definitely built that shit. Yeah, man. Even though we haven't built anything like that in any part of the world. There's no Olmec statues 
anything resembling that in any part of the black diaspora anywhere. Um, salute to the freshmen across the pond. Radio Blip Mode says, tip jar homie. This is for the keep Ock out of the Negro land fund. Yeah, man, salute. And also, man, make sure y'all hit that um like button too. Let's try to get up to 200, man. Let's try to get up to 200, man. Let's try to do that. Salute to um salute to um name 5858. He wanted to. The, the 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 few over there on um Rumble that support the channel on Rumble salute to name five eight five eight man um yeah my Rumble it's crazy how these social media platforms go so the whole week I was in DC week and a half I was in DC I didn't do no Rumble shows because the Wi Fi wouldn't support it so now my Rumble viewership went from like one twenty a night down to like fifty. I gotta build that shit back up. That shit is crazy how these um these platforms, if you their algorithm is so sensitive. If you if you go off for a few days, they drop you in their algorithm. It's like you gotta post like every fucking day. Um salute to um Austin Double Court the third. He says YouTube keeps making me edit my message. And blocking my super chat. I have no idea why. Yeah, I hey listen, man. YouTube is they will definitely you gotta get creative. That's why we got suns and gliders and prairie patels and tigers and all that stuff. Because you yeah, YouTube is getting very, very sensitive with the um but they like the nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they yeah. Every every channel's not treated the same. You dig what I'm saying? And 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 that's why I always say, man, I appreciate YouTube for the platform. But I know that they don't, they not, they don't treat my channel the same as other channels. Um, it is what it is, man. But I'm I'm happy for the platform because there's no other platform like this, as y'all see when I'm on Rumble. It's no other platform like YouTube. So they got us by the balls, man. Um, salute to Run Daz, man. He says, been freeloading for the longest. Appreciate you, Op. Yeah, salute to Run Daz, man, from Seattle. Seattle Seahawks fan, man. That's what's up, man. Seattle Seahawks, man. Um, I haven't been watching a lot of football this year, man. I, I know my, my skins won today. We beat the Patriots. I've been mostly um, watching like college football, Colorado. That's the only football I've had a chance to watch. Yeah, I watched the Washington game today. Y'all were about skinny your teeth. Yeah, we bust your ass. But y'all, y'all now listen. Had we not, we had y'all ten nothing, and then we gave up that fumble, and the, the momentum turned, and y'all scored them two touchdowns. But I'm proud of us for for coming back, man. We came back and we beat y'all. And um, we usually lose games like that, man. Um, that this was a game we usually lose. Um, and we came through and we stuck through when we won it. Salute to us, man. Um, Deluxe 247, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP, coming through once again. Um, let me, um, what do you think about these four vigils in one day, Hot Black? Indianapolis, huh? Yeah. Yeah, throw a fucking dart. Like any, you know, city above a hundred thousand that you go to <laughs> where there's some people, you're gonna be having fucking vigils. And they're gonna be getting four, shot up. Four vigils in one day. I'm just glad that none of them got shot up. But that's a lot of fucking dead animals from all those balloons. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the Midwest. I weep for the yeah. wildlife in, in Indiana. Mm -hmm. Salute to Leroy Brockner, man. Leroy B, Wicked's best friend. That's Wicked's best friend, man. That's the first text he made. That's the first one he made where he didn't get in Wicked's ass. Um, <laughs> salute to him, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That dude, that dude, that's Wicked's Wicked's homeboy, man. Um, salute no to love Lee. Lost. Yeah, Talene says, "Hey, uh, shout out to the panel. Salute, 
uh, can we organize an Oc Nation baseball tournament? Uh, maybe a softball tournament. Four anti-gun violence rallies all happening at the same time in Indianapolis. And half of them, Mayor Joe Hogg said, came in for an earful. So I'm angry. I'm so upset. You got the death penalty for murders? Use it. That lady was calling for the death penalty for the 15-year-old child arrested for fatally shooting another 15-year-old child Friday afternoon at the Kip Indy Legacy High School which police are trying to determine if that shooting was in retaliation for the killing of another young person nearby last summer. Two blocks away, parishioners from a neighborhood church gathered to pray for Indy's children. Some kids are experiencing abandonment issues from adults. Some kids are growing up in abject poverty and tragedy, hurt and despair. Uh, it's a struggle out here. Just adding up the last week's teenage death toll has pushed Indianapolis to 21 juvenile gunshot homicides this year, a new record, while more than 60 children have survived being shot since January 1st, leaving parents and children and city leaders struggling for answers. Of things like making this a health crisis, things like acknowledging this is an epidemic of young black males. We don't pay attention. I think we have done that, though. We've been doing that, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, we have. I don't know if people in general have been, but that was definitely an acknowledgement of the problem. I mean... He seems, to me, one of the few people not out there saying this is a problem with children in America. No, it's fucking not. It's a problem with black children in America. Yeah. Not even Hispanic, not even a black. American. No, like you but, said, you know, Umbritos here are not doing that shit like the same way, even, you know, in Albuquerque, as you said. It's an epidemic of young black males. We don't pay attention, but a lot of them have the answers. We just got to be willing to help them. The parents suggested more adult chaperones for teen parties or holding block parties where the neighbors can meet each other or shutting down party houses altogether. They would also like to see more outreach to young people at funerals when they're vulnerable to hearing the message and for families to start preaching retaliation. On the city's northeast side, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.